Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, Game Changers. If you have not seen this documentary, you need to see it right now. The Game Changers is a Netflix documentary that shows you these high-end athletes that have become vegans and how successful they have become in their sports since they became vegans, since they went to a plant-based diet. I stumbled across a study about the Roman gladiators. The gladiators were predominantly vegetarian. How could the original professional fighters be so powerful eating only plants? It's just absolutely amazing. So everybody, you know, I make a video, I, I, I ask people about eating meat, and I asked 14 questions of meat eaters, and I'm just attacked back and forth. Don't tell people what to eat. You know, if I want to eat, go eat meat. You want to eat meat, you should go eat meat. That's what you should do. But it's not healthy. Today's blood and yesterday's blood. Yeah. What's healthy is getting your protein from, from plants. I was recovering better, not getting as sore. This was our best season in the last 15 years, and we had 14 guys on plant-based diets. But uh, don't tell that to meat eaters. They're still going to reject it. And I think when you take these numbers out of context and you cherry pick the studies, it can be very scary to people and it's a very confusing landscape. It's now we have even Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger gets on there. One and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. I ate a lot of meat. They showed us commercials. Steak. That's what a man eats. Selling that idea that real man eat meat. Serious man food. But you got to understand that's marketing. That's not based on reality. He'll tell you, I was I was eating five steaks a day. I ate a lot of meat. This is what makes you a man. This is a manly thing to do. All this stuff. And then he found out it just turns you into a wimp. One of the biggest misconceptions in sports nutrition is that we have to have animal protein to perform at a high level. That's just not true. All the meat eating, it makes you old. It's not for the tough guy. Someone asked me, how could you get as strong as an ox without eating any meat? And my answer was, have you ever seen an ox eating meat? It's not to make you a big strong man. Meat is just up here, it's psychological. You know, you're thinking, wow, I'm, I'm eating this big, strong animal. Which animal? Most, almost all the animals that we eat are vegetarians, like cows, okay? Cows are vegetarians. Bulls, you see, the, you see a bull, I mean, they get into the ring, these bullfighters, and then they try to kill them, and uh, some of them get killed themselves. I actually saw a bullfight one time myself. It was pretty amazing. Uh, the bull won twice. Those are vegetarians, those bulls. They don't eat meat. And they're strong as could be. They're as strong as an ox. Look at a horse. Horse is a vegetarian. How many ho you got a car. How many horsepower is that? You can say, hey, you can look at a horse and say, hey, I, there's 500, it takes 350 of you guys to do what I got right here in my engine. That's horsepower. So suddenly all the myths of this, you know, eating meat to be strong, to be a man. Real man eat meat. Serious man food. Just goes away. Now, uh, one thing I will say about this documentary, one of the things they do is they, um, they defend soy quite a bit. And they claim that the soy, soy is a really great food and that the estrogen in soy isn't going to take up the estrogen and use the, the estrogen the, way, the same way our body would be. Well, that, that may all well be true. I hear these theories all the time. It's not the exact same, the one the body can use and all this kind of stuff. That's fine. I hear this about vitamin B12 and spirulina and this kind of stuff. I will just say this about soy. This is a really bad food. So I, don't, I wouldn't go out and start uh, eating soy if I were you. People ask me for years, would you rather do soy or meat? I guess in the end, I'd probably rather do soy than meat because it's just not a good food. I will make the point very quickly, like if you were to eat raw meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, raw, don't cook it, you're going to be fine. It's when you cook these, these animal proteins in the, in the protein themselves, they could become very, very dangerous because the amino acids are held together with pep, peptides and these peptide bonds are very, very fragile. So when you cook meat or you cook animal protein at high temperatures, it really just destroys this protein structure. It becomes very dangerous. And so this is not good for you at all to eat meat in this way, to eat cooked meat. I would just stay away from all these things because that's what's healthier. And that's what game changers do. They, they, and, and what's so great about them is that they're high-end athletes. When I went 
plant-based, I wasn't sure if I was going to survive. And I actually became like a machine. I've been a vegetarian now for 39 years this month. There are better alternatives. And the only reason you put anything in your body is strictly, strictly psychological. The only reason you do it. When I made the switch to a plant-based diet, I qualified for my third Olympic team. Oh! I broke two American records. I was like, man, I should have done this a long while ago. So here's the Game Changers on Netflix. Absolutely amazing documentary. I highly recommend you go out and, and, and watch this thing. I think this is going to wake a lot of people up. And see it for yourself, and you'll see why I promote the vegan diet. You'll see why I promote plant-based. It's not one set of dietary guidelines for improving your performance as an athlete. Another one for reversing heart disease, reversing diabetes. It's the same for all of them. I, this is one of the problems with diet is that people want to think that a diet that works for them works for everybody, and it doesn't work that way. And, thing, and people want you to follow their diet, no matter what it is, whether it's vegan or paleo. People are very ideological with that. Mm -hmm. they, they would love you for you to do exactly what they're doing so to reinforce what they're doing is correct. And if you really want to take it to the next level, the ultimate diet, the healthiest diet, is the raw food vegan diet, the plant-based raw diet. Don't cook your foods. And this is the thing that even you don't hear the medical industry talk about. You don't hear doctors. A lot of doctors out there, we saw what the health, and they saw plant-based diet. This is the most unscientific discussion I've ever had in my life. Well, why don't, we, just, get, I mean, why this don't is, we get some Am I on the doctors or am I on some kind of show? Vegan diet. Okay. There, we got great one, but they won't talk about the raw food diet. They won't. There's doctors out there like Dr. Mercola. He just, he won't even promote the a vegan diet at all. This is Dr. Mercola helping you take control of your health. And today we are joined by Dr. Paul Saladino, who's going to enlighten us about the carnivore diet. He's very much against it. Go back and read the China study. You read that book. Yeah, I've read that book a few times and you'll see this is the largest study in human history on vegetarianism. And there's no doubt. Serious man food. That the healthiest diet is a plant-based diet. But the choice is always yours. You can eat whatever you want. I could care less what you eat. But if you want to be healthy, the way I'm healthy, and I'm a very healthy guy at, at 62 years old, still running a six minute mile. Someone asked me, how could you get as strong as an ox without eating any meat? And my answer was, have you ever seen an ox eating meat? Anybody can do this if you really want to. You just have to be determined and put the right things into your body and don't put the right things into your body. That's what health is all about. All disease, all disease comes from our diet. That is a message of empowerment because your life is your own. Your destiny is your own when you take control of your diet. Dr. Bob, see you guys next time. Man Fu.